All right, hello everybody, it's Right Bird, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Oculus Quest 2 with LIV and record in mixed reality. Uh, three things you need first is you need to download OBS Studio, you need to download LIV onto your PC, and uh, third thing is you're going to need to go onto your Oculus Quest 2 into the Lab app or app lab lab i don't it's one of those uh go in there and download liv beta on there oh and another thing i almost forgot you need to have steam installed as well also this is for beat saber but for any other games um some of them you don't need to en enable the M is it MRC, I believe? Uh, in the settings in Beat Saber, there is an option for that. You need to turn it on in order to use it, so make sure that's turned on as well before you start. I'm only showing you display capture so you can see real fast what you need. Window capture, click it, see how you have this. You don't want it on that one, you want it on an LIV output. Okay, now I'm going to show you what else you need to do in order to play Beat Saber um, with this. You're going to go into your settings, MRC beta. You need this selected on, and then you hit okay that's the only way it's going to capture from LAV so I wanted to share that before we get started aligning these controllers I'm actually gonna play right now because <laughs> I want to oh and one more thing I forgot you're gonna need a camera that is capable of capturing 1080 HD with 60 frames per second anything lower than that it's not gonna keep up with you and it's gonna look like crap this camera the razor keo i thought that it would work and it won't because it captures 720 30 so i had to do an upgrade so just just to let you know that as well i'm using my old camera this is the razor keo and this is the razor keo pro hi <laughs> And you can kind of tell what my background is like. All right, so this is how to set up OBS. This won't be here. What we need is these two things or just this thing. This is set up to LIV output. You have to do window capture this LIV output. And another thing, in order to have window capture capture the LIV output, you have to have it running. I kind of forgot about that. LIV has to be running in the background for the option to pop up. You won't need video capture device or display capture too. Only thing you're going to need is window capture and then microphone if you want. And in order for your camera to work in LIV, you cannot have it active in another setting or program like OBS. So make sure, say that this is my thing, you want to you wanna click it and then hit deactivate and then to bring it back you activate it boom i'm back <laughs> so no camera active in obs um i'm gonna reset everything we're gonna start from scratch this is what you do if you're having problems with it as well so reset okay it's gonna close you out of there you have to go back in trying to get this as nice as it possibly can accept the agreement hit launch beta it's waiting for composer you agree okay these are all the devices Oh crap, is it this one? Yep, this is it. Okay, I use this. I don't know what these are. NV12 and stuff, but I use this. Hit continue. Everything is set up already, but it's showing stuff I don't want, like my desk. <laughs> That's green screen tape. Okay, so we're gonna crop this. I don't need it cropped that much because I hide the mic. Okay, in the top it's showing that. Sorry about the clicks. It's annoying, I know. So the top's cropped. My chair won't be there. Let me move the chair. Okay, I always push my chair into the corner. And right here, I have another green screen for the mic. So, and it's covering up my PC. My PC's right here, but you can't see it. It's cover. It covers it up when I record. Okay, so your cropping's pretty much done. And there's fuzz on me. Maybe turn that down a little. You need it to be perfect. And then you'll just stand up and see how it's good. There's no static on you or nothing, so you want it just like that. So save it. This is the fun part. Controller calibration. Let's do it. Okay, so out of the way so I can see. Controllers, bring it up here. Hello, everybody. Boom. Click it. Go, go where you can. Okay. It'll do it for you. There we go. And it's... It usually perfectly lines it up for me. 
right away so I don't really have to mess with these settings but for me I put this up to 32 and then X is left and right I believe Y is up and down Z is like a, a diagonal to move it these are like left and right as well but better <laughs> much faster okay so we're done with that the latency make sure that's good test that see how the controller is keeping up with my movements i like to do this to see Just go like that <laughs> okay and now now we are going to go into a game so from your headset since we did all that go into beat saber it's not going to show you I'd have to be in a different program for that. But we're going to go into Beat Saber right now. We're going to see. Okay. I stand this way. When I play, I stand towards the wall. And see? So the controllers are perfectly in my hands. So um, if you're having problems, just keep hitting start over and recalibrate with your camera. So that's how, that's how I do it. So, uh, yeah. Let's... That's pretty simple <laughs> and pretty easy. I hope this tutorial helps you. All right, and another super important tip, do not close the Oculus Quest or put it to sleep or anything while you're still running LIV because when you go back, it's gonna mess up your controls and you're gonna have to reset everything all over again. Exit out of LIV first before you do anything else. Just exit out of there, keep your quest on and all your settings will be saved for next time. If you don't do that, it's going to mess it up. That's what it does for me anyway, from my experience. All right, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask down below. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps me a lot. So uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye.